Hey guys, sorry, this one's probably gonna be a little long and boring, but um, <laughs> we are uh, training a horse today, and I thought I would just video it. Turns out my camera was dead, so I videoed it on my phone to send this to YouTube World for you guys. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy our our nice little uh, nine minutes with this new horse. Now, I will ask you guys to help us decide on a name. We kind of have a few ideas, like Wiley or Sam or Pecos, but if any of you guys have a good suggestion for a name, just drop it down in the comments and <laughs> we'll look at them all. Thank you guys. Alright, YouTube land. Help us come up with a name for this fella. We bought him Friday night, kind of a spur of the moment decision. I apologize if the sound is horrible, but it's windy as all get out. He already had one light session in the round pen with us. I really wish I'd have got a video of him at the sale barn because he looked like a man eater and he's really not too bad. Three year old bay stud horse. We figured we'd test his temperament before we had him gelded and he won't stay a stud he's that's not our game but he should be a pretty sweet dude he's already got quite a bit figured out head drops yep licks his lips that's what we're looking for He really does whoa good, doesn't he? He does whoa pretty good. Yesterday, I uh, I worked him in the round pen. Matt didn't. He was setting up our the rest of our pen, and uh, I kept looking for that head drop, that eye soften, and it's it's something that unless you know exactly what you're looking for, it's really hard to explain it. But he got it for me and. He's a, he seems to be like he's going to be a pretty intelligent fella. He, he doesn't like having his left side to you real well. Or right side to you, excuse me, right side. I'm not sure why, but he, I don't know, he's a mystery for us. Came from a cell barn. Got him separated from everybody. This is just the second day we've messed with him. And he looks like he's going to do pretty good. He's slick and shiny and he sure is pretty. But I'll turn this back around. Maybe you guys can help us with the name. I kind of like Wiley. <laughs> Matt said Sam, like Yosemite Sam. <laughs> and I was thinking Wiley, so I think Coyote. <laughs> but that might be, not be a good name either. Nothing mean and nothing stupid. That's all I want. <laughs> nothing mean and nothing stupid. Because in my my experience we had a we named the animal trouble and that was the hor most horrible animal to have to work with <laughs> so trouble does not work There. He sets his little booty down. I don't know if y'all caught that or not, but whenever Matt says, whoa, he tucks his hip under. So he should have a hell of a stop whenever he gets in the bridle. And then he wants to turn to you and look at you, which is a good thing. This particular little critter here, he's already named. He doesn't mind very well. He got a good taste of the... Uh, <laughs> he got a good taste of the electric fence. He did not like it. Yeah. When we were at the sale barn, he raised his hand to bid on every single horse that was there. We usually just go and watch and don't buy anything. We were looking for a pony bridle with a, a little tiny tom thumb bit. And we did find one because 
we have we have pony or a pony that needs it badly but um <laughs> we did buy that but we stayed for the horses this guy caught our eye on the pin just because kind of he was real proud walking real stiff in there and not that he's going to be hard to handle but we like a challenge sometimes and it, he went cheap enough honestly that it was fine um it's like god put him in our lap <laughs> there because he did he went cheap enough that I, I was okay buying him, and I hate spending money, y'all know that, but we had the little bit extra, so we went ahead and did it, look at him, Hey Hey loves horses, he's going to be my little, my little cowboy, I promise you guys, that one there's going to be the cowboy. He's just testing his limits now. Naturally, I put my phone up right when he's uh, he breaks in two and decides to to kick the stars out. But that's all right. He'll do it again. This is the first time he's been saddled, so that we know of. He seems pretty sensible, though, honestly. Yeah, it's bucking. You missed the good buck when he flopped on the ground and I thought he was going to lay on my saddle. Quit, Sue. You get over there by your brother now. Pull him in and turn him another way. Oh. Damn. <laughs> it's like a 30 footer, I think. You're okay. He's hung up in that white. Get him. <laughs> 